Alright, we are back. More State of Decay 2. I want to give a, a special shout out in this episode to Chris Vasquez. Chris Vasquez, if you're watching, thank you so much for uh, checking out the series. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, hope you all are <laughs> as we continue to. We're going to recover here, guys. Losing Marlin was, was horrible. I mean, that's just about as bad as losing Griffith there. Someone who'd been with us for a long, long time. Just, oh my gosh. But like Vinay, Vinay survived, which is good. Marlin kind of sacrificed her life for Vinay. You can see what it means to Clint here, and that's exactly who we're going to be in this episode. It's just going to be Clint taking out his frustrations on losing Marlin. Look at that. You can see what it means to him. He's not happy. We knew he had a thing for her. Those two may have fought a lot, but they would have given anything for each other. Oh man, awesome. Good to see you. Can you let me put my feet up for a bit? All right, so he's gonna go do talk to the moonshiners. Red Talon's inspired to learn about the progress you're making out there. You are taking this nation back. Yeah, well, Clint is doing a solo mission here. He doesn't want anybody with him. He's taking out his frustrations. He's gonna pack some heavy artillery, guys. This is going to be a bit, a little different for me. It's going to be a bit of like a storied episode. How we're going to just use Clint and show him what this means to, to him losing Marlin. And uh, we're going to take him out. He might be a little reckless. Uh, we, are, we will not get him killed. I promise you that, especially if we're by ourselves. I'm going to take whatever I might need. <clears throat> Cup of coffee, perhaps. He's got another one. Energy drink. Road flare. Soda can bomb. Frag grenade. Pipe bomb. He's bringing all this stuff, guys. He's not happy whatsoever. to bash some brains in. Alright, what car do we take? Take this one, I guess. Does need gas, though. Which we may not have any of. We do have one. We don't have a lot of fuel, so... Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't want to ride it. Get out of there. So he's going to go to the Moonshiners. He's going to inevitably take out his, his anger. Some zombies. We don't want to be too reckless with them, though, because obviously we don't want anything to happen to Clint, but... Realistically, from the looks of it, he would be the most broken up about this. Even if he doesn't show it to the other, to the rest of the group. Uh, let's just check on our farms real quick. Food. Food. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, okay. I'm trying to get to the farm. And then this one we can do for this meds. This station bullshit is officially out of control. Yeah, he's angry about that. Worst thing, we still have that plague heart near us to take out. 
And maybe he goes after that because he doesn't care. Oh, I'm gonna bring more fuel with us. Another tank of gas. on our way. Let's see how this goes. But it might be worth going to We're gonna we're gonna he's angry, he's gonna take out this plague heart. He's going after it by himself. He didn't tell anybody. The rest of the group has no idea what Clint's up to. He's going after it. Fucking plague zombies must think they own this town. He's angry at it. Okay, time to get her done. He's going in to kill it. Fire in the hole! Yeah! And Clint took it down. Because it was already almost dead, but he went in there to finish it. He says, I don't care. Is that, is that a feral? Is that a freaking feral? Comes this guy. Have that. We can kill Marlin. It's a bloater. I feel like there's a feral around for some reason. Bingo. Oh, rucksack of food. Nice. Freaking, get out of here. Marlin's body's around here, isn't it? Oh, there is a feral. No more of that. Gotcha. Don't mess with Clint right now. You kidding me? That's the last guy you want to mess with. Did that pipe bomb even go off? Bash him in! He wants to hit everything right now. He's so pissed about Marlin. I am too. Oh, come on, get out of my way here, zombie. Airplane. What is that? Booze? Some kind of. More coming in? Go see the moonshiners here. Of that, that's it. That's it. You're all dead. Oh. Okay, eight plague samples. That, that, these energy drinks. No, I want I don't want this. That sword. Probably better than this energy drinks and then we can take we should take this ammo as well we don't really need the gun but we could use the ammo for sure um, oh, he's got plenty of stuff to heal with alright see what else is in here all that work for this oh, there's more stuff no, we're gonna like drop some stuff off in the car and then come back in. We could take this stuff back to the base before we head out to the Moonshiners, but Clint goes off on his own to take out that Plague Heart where Marlin died. Because he obviously wasn't very happy. Hey neighbors, can you spare anyone to help us 
Cat wants our help. We'll go and help the moonshiners already, so. Take that. I might take my uh, machete back too, since it's in good health. Ooh, we have seeds. Ethanol, we'll take that. Uh, where's my weapon? Is it here? The weapon's down there. I don't know if it'll let me pick it up or not. Probably not. Nothing more to do here. Parts we'll take. We could, there's some stuff we could take to trade, but you know, whatever. Right, he's gonna drive back home now, and I think we have to go back this direction, anyways. Really hate this automatic crouching thing. It's like so stupid. See, we need to help these enclaves. I want to go help the moonshiners and start to ally them. There's so many enclaves that want our help now, but... Oops, went by it. Get out of here. There's a juggernaut coming. Alright, let's go return that. That will keep that thing in there. Transfer to the base, transfer to the base, transfer to the base. Keep the energy drinks. Transfer to the base, keep that. Deposit the food. So food's gonna be really good now for a bit. And Clint's like, I'm I'm gone again. I'm going back out. Gonna go see these moonshiners. Look at all those plague zombies coming. We'll lead them away, maybe. Come on, this way. That's right. Come this way. Come on. Which way do I have to go here? Shoot, I don't know if we can squeeze through here. Dang it. Take a left here, right? Although we could take this road all the way up, I suppose. There's two different ways to do this. Up here. I'm thinking about going back, guys, too, and naming all my episodes, like, something else. Like, except for maybe, like, my first episode, like, naming everything. Something, I don't know. Maybe not, you know, like, giving it almost like a, like, an episode, episodic name. You'd see for, like, a TV show or something. That would take a while <laughs> to think of names for each episode. I'd have to watch parts of it to think what I could call it, you know. Probably not, but it's a lot of work to do. This channel is a lot of work, to be honest. It is. It's um, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. I love doing this. Uh, between the streaming, uploading, downloading, working on editing some videos, you know, between my, my music and stuff and, and other vlogs or whatever videos I do. Horror Night episodes, then I'm like coming up with some thumbnails sometimes. You know, just little. My thumbnails are nothing fancy. I just make kind of you know, little little artsy ones for myself to enjoy. Hopefully, you guys like them too. Uh, you know, 
We're not doing anything fancy here in this channel, we know that. You guys know that. Me fancy, are you kidding me? This isn't this is no Jake Paul here, you know, we're not we're not fancy. <laughs> we're no uh what's his name? PewDiePie. There's winding roads. I love these little winding roads though. There's not a lot of like blockages in them either, so you can kinda just drive them. But they aren't bad. Let's see what they want. Clint's like, let's get this over with. I got more zombies to kill. Who am I talking to? Poof, Dwayne, The Rock Johnson here. Hey, a beer yeah, I do want to help them obviously because we got to try an enclave. A couple more. Got away some pros and cons. So we'll work on them for now while we can. Ooh, a new shirt and parts. Maybe Clint can wear this new shirt he just found. Yeah, actually that works for him. I know Miguel likes the flannels, but the dark one. It's got Clint written all over it. And it's so weird not having Marlin and still weird not having Griffith here. It's like Yolanda now has been with us for a while. She's become part of the family now. Bethany and Natalia knew, but you know, eventually, hopefully they'll be around long enough for us to really, really care for them a lot. Like we do everyone else. Juma, like I'll be really sad if Juma dies or Umaho. Anybody. Anybody else, I mean... Bethany and Natalia we're not attached to yet, but we will be. Everybody else has, you know, been here for a while. Like, the freaking bear. Vinay. <laughs> Vinay's awesome. And we got Maddie still as our leader. She's never getting demoted, guys. Never demoting her. Not unless... Unless she dies. That's it. That's the only way she's getting demoted is if she dies. She's been leading us the whole way. I know it took me a long time to pick a leader, guys. I understand that. Um, back in the old episodes, I was kind of just playing around. Didn't know how far this was even going to go. Or how many people would even be interested in this series. I was just kind of just winging it, you know. I didn't, I didn't know. I was still understanding a lot of the game. I'm still understanding the game to this day. I'm still learning. Um, but, you know, two things I would have done a lot quicker than I had before was definitely... First of all, moving out of the first house, it took us forever to find a new home. I think we should have moved out sooner. But um, And now we would have picked Maddie or someone as our leader a lot sooner, but ultimately we made the right decision. And, uh, you know, I now we move around a lot because I like trying out new homes, but... Uh, really happy with the home we're at right now, for sure. I mean, I think this is going to be the best home on this map. Maybe, but... This one only has one large outdoor slot, as you can see. So we can't really be there. I mean, some of these spots just aren't big enough. So we have to travel... There. You ready? Do we go on foot? Uh, uh, probably not. It's a little ways away. We'll, we'll drive there. Come on. 
Get in. Careful. That one's a walking infection. Walking infection. bridge which is pretty nice as you can see here this is a little foggy again the sun kind of broken up in the fog it looks really nice now that's improved graphics there of course this kind of foggy effect is part of the weather effect they're talking about I was hoping for something a little more than fog but it's something it's good I can't complain that there's fogginess to the game especially for this map it, it's uh you know it makes sense up here. Oh God, sorry. Uh, not feeling too good. Are you okay? Dude, Dwayne, are you gonna puke in the van? Zombie? Get out of the van, dude. No, he's drunk. Zombie is a brand of beer. That zombie will be yeah, Dwayne. On One too few already, Dwayne. I mean, I'm right there with you, but we got a job to do. There's a screamer in here. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Oh, get the screamer. There we go. Is this guy going to come in and help me or what? He's just going to sit out there and watch Clint. Have an energy drink. Another one. Look at them over there. They can they can pound all they want over there. <laughs> They're trying to get out. At least it's something. We have a rumpled jacket, caramel brown. I actually want to see what that looks like. I can't do that right this second. Maybe we'll put this on Clint. Save the flannel for Miguel. Ooh, rucksack there. Where did he go? Is he just puking out in the woods somewhere? guy. Don't mess with me. They're all to blame for Marlon's death. Come on. Wow, swing and a miss there. Oh yeah. Oh good, Miguel found some painkillers, a smoke grenade. Some snacks. That's good. That's actually really good. All the painkillers we can get, big time. I can't fucking believe I found this. Speaking of, I think I need to use one right now. Down to my last one. To heal him up a bit. <sighs> More seeds. That's good. Pretty good finds in here. Let's go talk to the rock. And that's a score. Oh, the rucksack we just found, we gotta give it to him. Oh, the parts. Okay. Let's, let's tell it to him, but let's give him the parts, but we'll tell him like this. We tell him he needs to get his shite together. He could have gotten Clint killed. He's not messing around. There you go, dude. I helped you out. Oh, he runs back home. All right. There's a juggernaut right there, dude. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> so I don't think they're allied yet. They're still just friendly. Okay. Maybe one more help will ally them. They need fuel. So we can head over there too. I hate having to come out of a crouch for no reason. Yeah, day 112, of course. Are we looking at fuel? Darn it. Should probably refuel this thing. It's been a while since we talked. 
Still working on what thing, Cat? You just talked to us like five minutes ago. Like, look at her. We never seen anyone looks like her either. Let me go help out these other people first. My gosh, needy people, guys, needy people. Link doesn't want to deal with this, but he is—he's making a difference here on this map. Um. Uh, is this... That's Cat. Okay, that's where we're headed now. Alright, so she needs to just hang on for a little bit. While I, like, refuel this thing so it's full. Gosh, no patience for these people, huh? Clint really hated that fence. Alright, now how do I get there? So I'm gonna go, actually I wanna go back this way. Take this little dirt road up here or something. Maybe this road? Look at the train tracks here. This map is so awesome. There's like a lot of diversity to it. Uh, is this the right road? Yeah, it is. Okay. Taking a little dirt road. Along the train tracks. Look at this. Very scenic, huh? What is this place? A little farm here, huh? Spooner Hill. Not Spooner House, but Spooner Hill. Look at this building. What... Barn with the silo. I think we need to check that out. I really think we do. Here we are at Spooner Hill. Spooner Spooner Farm. Clint might hold up here for the night. See what we can find here. Very foggy. You hear the crows crowing. A lot more atmosphere to the game too with some of the new audio that's been in, uh, put into the game. I noticed a lot more background noise. Stuff like that crow. The echoes and stuff. And now is the time to get into this game if you haven't gotten this game yet. Pick it up. Especially if you're going to be isolated. You know, if you don't care about physical versions, just, just buy it digitally. Download it, get playing. If you're going to be, you know, quarantined or isolated. Like, I'm kind of self-quarantining myself a bit. I mean, I'm hanging with my roommate still, but... I, um, I'm not, I haven't been going anywhere. Or seeing anybody else. I've just been here. Until maybe my job opens at the beginning of April, we'll see. But, you know... If you if you're gonna be locked in your house, much like most of the world is, we can get on this game. Helps uh help keeping me sane. That's for sure. If I didn't have all my games with me, I didn't have my games to play and everything like that, and my music. To listen to, like while I was like locked in with nothing to do. I mean, I would be going crazy. I need games and music. You know, I can live without like movies and stuff, but when it comes to like games and, and music, I can't. This is pretty neat. I mean, look at that. You got the snow-capped mountain again back there from this farm. I mean, look at this. You, you did not get views like this on the other maps. We might have to stay here because it's nighttime. We got a little farm down here. This is so awesome. We do have to go help them though. We are close by. They're like right there. We could actually even walk there if we wanted to. Uh, we're going to search this and just see what we can find. I 
Actually, I completely forgot because I didn't know we talked, Edward. So, uh, yeah. That guy looks different, too. Parts. Okay. No, we can come back here. We can come back here. Why don't we just go make sure we talk to them first. So is that them in that house or they're beyond that? We might come back here in the nighttime and kind of hold up here before we go back home. Let's get in the car. Because uh, we are in the business of trying to ally enclaves, so we're going to have to... Did this thing smoke it? It's because of the fence I hit. So just down the road a bit. This is really neat, this farmland down here. Too bad, like, the sun's going down. So, go up here. Yeah. Alright, we're there. Gotta watch Clint. I mean, we have coffee, too. He's got coffee with him. We do have more health Hi stuff, there. so he is a cat. We haven't seen anybody like her before. Uh, we'll search for fuel. Who else they got in here? Amanda. She, uh, oh, it's an uh, Asian girl. That's awesome. We don't see too many Asian girls in this game. I wouldn't mind it taking these people. And here's Peyton. Look at this dude. He's pretty cool. We haven't seen anybody like him either. He's, I didn't expect him to be speaking Spanish to me, but okay. He has a poker face. Does anybody have a... Uh, she's a mechanic, so nobody has like... See, even if we could recruit these people, they all have... Utilities. Oh, she's got utilities. We would love... We would love all three of these people, wouldn't we? Right now, that'd be awesome. But we can't. I'll take any one of them, to be honest. I really wish you could just recruit who you wanted if you had space. I really do. Pick somebody and be like, hey, just ask them if they want to come. You know, maybe if you help them, you have to help them first. So we're looking for fuel. Where? Where am I looking for fuel? See what Lois ha Lane has to offer. They said they need fuel, but usually they give you a spot to look. I mean, I don't, I don't know where to go then. Obtain a rucksack of fuel for the nearby survivors. So they aren't going to show me where to look. They're just going to kind of be like, "You're on your own." <laughs> There's the barn. There's another barn right here. Let's go over here. Like you can hear like the rust of the uh... The windmill going. You hear that? <laughs> Turning. Oh, this is a big Clint episode as we know. Um, we gotta find fuel. I don't think there's gonna be fuel right here, but we'll take a look. Hardly worth the effort. I'm really digging this farm area though, I love this. Right by the mountains and everything. Oh, we have a rucksack of ammo. Ammo for... Gun there, parts, we want to take all that. Oh, food? We want all this. Clint's gonna be coming home with a lot of goodies. That's for sure. Lots of goodies. Alright, we gotta go take this back to the car before we get that other one. Okay. We have a little bit of room left in there. Remember, we need to get some kind of fuel. We can combine those. 
mine these parts. Guess we can put that ammo in there too. Bethany. We'll get back to using Bethany and Natalia fairly soon because we need do need to level them up. Grab this food too. Uh, but where are we going to find fuel? It's not telling me where to look, so... We have to find somewhere that might have a fuel rucksack. Clint can't sleep anyways. He's thinking about Marlin. That's why he's doing all this work. He can't sleep. He's too broken up. So he's going to... Work himself almost to death here. Okay. Alright, now we need to find fuel. So it's not giving me a waypoint of where to go to get fuel. These are just other things popping up on the map. Um, there is, I did see where it was there. There's a gas pumps over here. Auto repair. I mean, that's probably the best place to look that's nearby. Hobson Falls Station. What is that? Uh, this is nearby, too, so we can go. We'll just drive down there. Whoops. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Oh, shoot. Totally ran over that screamer. I should repair this too when we get there. Where am I going to get there? I guess I just gotta keep following this road. Hoping we get lucky and there's a rucksack of fuel here. There. Now let's take a look. We've arrived. Uh, fix this thing. Clint, here we go. Seconds auto repair. This is where oh, Dev keeps all my here. cars I've crashed. Parts and another toolkit. Brilliant. Uh, we'll take that for ourselves. Uh, we do need fuel, though. Although we could use the fuel rucksack for our community, but we're going to. Try and help them out. Pile of weapon remains. I guess we'll take that for now. It's basically just more parts. Got a new shirt. Oh, those shells would be good too, but I might come back for those. Uh, well, let me see what clothes he got, because he got a few new clothes here. Put him in something other than his flannel. We have a biker vest. Oh, that's cool. And then we got rumpled jacket, the caramel brown one. Actually, that's a little more Clint. Yeah, I'll put him in that. This infestation bullshit is officially out of control. <laughs> Watch out, times are close. Shoot. Uh oh. I'm gonna fucking drop. Yo, come on, take him out. Oh. How do you like that? 
Come on, please be a rucksack of fuel in here, please. Come on. I don't need to look around here anymore. Ah, shite. Alright, we're gonna go over here now. Check these fuel pumps. Come on. Give us something. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Okay, let's see what else is here. Well, come on, cat. Another piece of clothing, man. Clint's getting some bargain deals here. He knows how to shop. Another rucksack of fuel. That one's for us. <laughs> that one is for us. And a gas can. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we need to drop a few things off in the car. I actually might have yeah, a cup of coffee one. here. We don't have a lot of room for stuff, do we? Really don't. <laughs> Put those parts away. Let's grab the rucksack. I'm gonna go get these these 12 gauge shells so we have more ammo for the shotguns. Where is it? What was that ammo in here? Yeah. Alright, now we gotta go back to them. Like I said, Clint might stay in that farm for the night. He doesn't really want company right now, so. Back there, Spooner Hill there. That's where we might stay. fuel. Amanda, do you want it? No, Cat wants it. Where is she? There's... There she is. Thanks. Okay, have a good day then. You have a good day, yeah, Check okay. <laughs> Threaten this thing, Clay. Trade with them. You got something I want. All right. They have a fuel, uh, they have food rucksack. I think we might just pick that up. Uh, well, not yet. I think we'll actually, they have more 12 gauge shells too. Hmm. Well, I do want to check that farm for something. I wish we could take you all with us. Amanda. Peyton, like, oh, look, these people are great. Anyway, see you later. We're going back to the... the barn over here. Around that horde, there's a horde over there, so... Hopefully a horde doesn't follow us into the farm. Oh shoot! I thought that was a tree I could actually like drive through. It was more of a bush. Oh, this is not good, is it? I hear way too many zombies. Shoot, where, 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 where? Oh, there's more where that came from. 
Oh no! Fudge! Get the screamer! Oh, that was close, that was close. Alright, I gotta have a, a drink here. Kidding me? No more of that. There we go. A little worried there for a second. Just losing control of this situation. Oh, these stupid zombies, come on. Get out of here. <laughs> Can't do it. There. So my stamina's still right. So here we are. At the farm. Can I put any more stuff in my trunk? I cannot. Wow, we're like out of space. Maybe I'll drop the chemicals. Just for now. In case you find something better, you know. Store that in there. Because we do have a lot of chemicals and we don't use those that often. There we go. See what else we can find. Alright, and to the... what is the name of this place again? It's not telling me, is it? Life is, in, is a journey. Enjoy the ride. Into the barn we go. A little workbench here. Imagine if this was like Dead Rising where we could like craft like weapons like that. Like duo weapons. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh fudge. That kind of scared me. I didn't, I didn't see him. I heard him but I didn't know where he was. It's so dark. I don't see anything. Oh there's something over here. Better watch out. Zombies are close. <laughs> Got no more heals in me. No more health items. Crap, that's not good. Might have something in the trunk of the car though. I'm gonna stay here tonight. To bail on this dump. Parts there. Okay, so nothing else here. Shoot. Is there an upstairs to this? I, sometimes there's like ladders, but it doesn't look like that there is. Should scout from there too. Um, let me go check the trunk real quick in my car. Uh, okay, we do have this. We're gonna use that now. That's all we have for health, but that heals him up completely. All these rucksacks we have, and they're all different ones. One for food, lumber, fuel, ammo. It's like that's great. They're all four different ones. I got an idea. So we're already making friends on this new map here. Clint's still having trouble sleeping after Marlin's death. This place is full of crap. <sighs> Alright, let's go up here. We can scout from here. I just saw a bloater. I think I can hit the bloater from here. Guess not, I can't even see it. Look at all the noise we're making. Oh, there's a feral. 
Shoot. Ah, I shouldn't have done it. I was trying to hit the blower. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. I just saw a horde. How come I can't hit these punks? Come on. Oh, this is such a bad situation now. What did I do? Gotta get rid of this. I gotta get rid of these screamers. Wait for them to get a little bit closer. Gotcha. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, the screamers are dead. That helps. Oh, this is bad. What did I do? What did I do? Shoot. Is that bloater still coming over here? Not really. Oh my gosh. You know what? We have this. Oh! <laughs> That's why I brought this with me. Alright, now I just need to get rid of this barrel. I have no more healing things either, so I have to be careful here. Clint being a little reckless here. That's alright. Gotta get a good shot at this. How much ammo do I have left? 34. Okay. Uh, there's nowhere else to really climb. Maybe over there. Let me get down on the lower here. See if I can get this feral. Just can't fall off this. Come on. Not worried about them. <laughs> None of them have limbs anymore after I blew them all away. Alright, where is this feral? It's like right underneath this. There he is. Come on. Look at that, he's going wild. He is so angry that he can't get up here. What a situation. I got myself into this mess by taking that shot at the bloater, but like I said Clinton was going to be a little reckless here. Nobody in the nobody in the community knows Clint is even out right now. They're probably wondering where he is. Probably worried sick about him. He's like I'm out here doing his own thing. Alright, I'm gonna climb back up. Just to be safe. I mean, good thing I got those screamers, because that way it would have gotten way, way worse than it is now. I gotta find a way to, uh. I have a soda can bomb. That'll be like my last desperation move if I need one. I don't think I can get this feral from here. He's like staying out of sight. And he runs through there, it's, he's too quick. I don't have time to react to it. See, look at that. I don't want to waste all my ammo just missing him here. Best bet to kill him might be to go down there and just shoot him when he charges at me. Worst comes to worst, I can try and get in the car or climb back up here. Get my soda can bomb ready. Alright, here we go. Shoot, I missed him. He's too close to me. Darn it! I got these ones chasing after me now. I can't get him, I can't get him. He's jumping just out of the way. Darn it! He's moving way too fast. Shoot, I gotta get back up here, I gotta get back up here. Losing health, I have no health either. Darn it, I can't believe I couldn't hit him. Okay, that's my last mag. Fudge, <laughs> oh. 
Oh, Clint. Oh, cl I don't worry about Clint right here, guys. Oh, this, this, this feral is pissed at me. Alright, uh, think, think. What can I do? What can I do? Um. can I do? Sniper support. Uh, that's what we're gonna call from the from the sniper tower. That's what we're doing. Make sure there's a sniper watching my back, okay? Come on. All right, Miguel. Get him. If he if he gets that feral, I'm gonna be so happy. Get the feral. Is the feral alive still? Oh, if Miguel takes out this feral for me, I'm gonna be so happy. I don't know what he's hitting though. Look at this bloody mess we have here, guys. It's the farm of a thousand corpses here. Oh, nice one, Miguel. I think he did it. Feral's amongst of these bodies here. I think that might be the head of the feral there. There it is. Oh. My goodness. This is why having a sniper tower There's is a big huge. Dead guys coming our way, but we're ready for them. That literally just like might have saved our life. By getting that sniper support from Miguel. Oh my gosh. Miguel knows that we're out now. Uh, why didn't I think of that when Marlon and Vinay were getting attacked? I didn't even think about it. Sometimes I forget what I have and what I can do, guys. It's hard to remember everything. What was that? Oh! Well, there goes the bloater. Shoot, don't tell me we're gonna have to go. Alright, I'm headed back. You on your own. Miguel's heading back. Some creepy noises coming from somewhere. But, um. So, when you play a lot of different video games, it's kind of hard to remember what you can do in each one. Because I'm like. You know, it, there's just so much going on. Different series. I don't always. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Because <laughs> I can't always remember what I can do in the games. Unless I was playing nothing but that game. Dust blowing along the road. Little details that they've added in. Gosh, I love this game. Can we climb up on that? I don't want to travel back till it's like daytime, really. I was going to hold up here, but maybe we can find. Go back to that enclave there. There's the old corral. Gun shed. More farmhouses around. This looks kind of interesting. I don't know what that is. Like Hobson Falls Station. Because we're pretty far from home. Like home's down here. I guess we could start traveling this way. We haven't really been up around this area at all. But we cannot get stranded anywhere. We have to find the best way route back. So if we go there. I guess if we travel down this road and then go on this main road here. Through here. All the way down we can get back home. And we got... 
we took out the pl uh, plague heart over here, but we have infestations galore. Oh my goodness! Uh, we kind of want to get him back home before this gets any worse. Travel now, or do we travel? We have no more healing stuff either, so I think we need to leave, you know? Not risk anything else. Even if that means we gotta leave here at night. Radio call from medical, says Dave. Uh, can we can we get medical supplies Better dropped here? Before I fall down. Supply drops, melee weapon. Available once per community. That's a supply drop there. I don't think I have. Locate medicine. We use the sniper support that really saved his life there. Um, that's still on cooldown. Melee and then supply. I don't think that this will give us... Will that give us meds? I don't know. That's all we have right now. What I think I can do is maybe head back there and trade for something. Locate medicine. Will that give us actual like pills or just like medicine rucksacks? That might just give us rucksacks, right? Um, I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna go head over here and just oh, he's so tired though. I'm gonna trade for uh, they 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 might have something to heal with. We gotta right freak my sights here. Okay, now we gotta. Very careful here. It's a bloater. I'm not gonna shoot him unless I have to. This is an intense episode after that one we just had before. This one. Oh my gosh, like. Maybe healing items nearby if they drop that. They might have it in there. I think I might have to do that too, yeah. Shoot! There's a horde of plague zombies over there. Let me just see if I can get to this uh, enclave. If anything, they can help me fight too. At least I won't be alone. And then we can also call for sniper support again soon. Which I will not mind doing. The van. <laughs> we'll go back for the van. Hopefully. Shoot. Oh, that's really bad if they come. Oh, I need to get to medical supplies. The Vandito. Yeah, <laughs> no. They call it the Vandito, or Armored Up Vandito. I think I have a toolkit too in there, so we can probably run over some zombies if we need to. Gonna bust it up real good. Shoot! Come the red eyes. The red eyes are coming after us. Aloha, Jack. Good to have you here too. Uh, hurry up and give me something to heal with. They do not have anything to heal with. But I'll take your gas cans and your Molotovs right now. Because we're going to need them. 
Shoot, I don't know if they spotted me yet. I'm gonna hide. Alright, yeah, we gotta get back to the van. Let's call for that med support, like you said. Let's locate get medicine. And track down some supplies, okay? <laughs> Network here. I'll get someone on that. Hey, hey, Ripley. Welcome in as well. We got Ripley, Jack, and Dave here. Uh, we got into real pickle here with Clint. I haven't posted the last episode on uh, YouTube yet, so I don't know if I want to put any spoilers in right now for people that are on the stream. I know Dave saw what happened last episode, and maybe Jack did too. But pretty, pretty crazy. All right, all right. So they're gonna fight them. I gotta get back to the van. Where are the medical supplies? Oh, all the way over there. Oh my gosh. We have to get back to the van. Make a run for it. Juggernaut, we are fucked. Oh no, where? Fudge. Oh gosh. Oh no. I gotta get back in here. Fudge. Oh, I got it. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out, guys, because I'm really worried about Clint right now. We got to get back to the freaking van now. They didn't have any meds here. There's a juggernaut nearby. What are you recovering from? Don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to tell you now. Uh, I mentioned it earlier in this episode, like the craziness that happened last episode, but you'll see. You'll see. Uh, I'll probably post the other part today on YouTube. I'll do that today. Um, probably after I um, finish streaming this, I'll start posting that one. So you'll have this episode and the one before this coming up on YouTube. Sniper is available again. Yes, it is, Dave. Yes, it is. Cooldown's good, so Miguel can help us there again. I think the juggernaut went away. We need to get back to the van so we can get Clint home. That's all I'm worried about right now is just getting him home. Sun's starting to come up. What a night here. What a night. At least we get this view to uh, to enjoy. Did you drink the coffee? Yeah, I had a coffee. I do have another one, though. Will this bring it up anymore? I mean, I do have an energy drink, too. I still have this soda can bomb. Four Molotovs as well, just in case. So, it's, we still have a little bit to fight with. I have got 23 rounds. I got a weapon and a half, really, here, so it's not all as dire. We just got to go that far to get back to the van, then I think we'll be okay. As long as we don't run in that juggernaut. Oh, so he's over there. Hanging out on the rock. Did anybody order a uh, juggernaut on the rocks? Can you send no, over? nobody? We got Dwayne Johnson wants our help again. Coffee will remove the gray for five minutes. Okay. That's five minutes. My huh? last one. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it filled up the whole bar. So, yeah, we'll definitely have that now to help him get back. Clint's been carrying that last cup of coffee on him for so long, and it turns out he's saved it for a very good occasion here. This one see me? No. <laughs> Between the coffee and espresso? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I assume the espresso will that last longer than the coffee? You would think. Maybe it's like a ten or fifteen minute. Recovery. We probably have some espresso in our um, in our inventory somewhere. <laughs> I think.
think this person does the same thing for longer. Yeah, so it is longer. That's what I'm figuring too. Anyways, I uh, hope all of you are staying safe out there in, in this crazy world. Everyone's doing good. Um, so I'm trying to stream as much as I can because I just want to be put in a better place mentally, you know? We are. Gore. Uh, okay, we'll take that rucksack. No doubt about that. Shoot. Okay. Gun shed right there. Yeah, there is one. Uh, where is it? Right. We could find ammo for this gun, too. So we'll check that. I don't have a lot of inventory slots here. So glad to see the sun up here after that night. Uh, no, we don't need that. We don't really need that right now. Go see what's in here. No risk, no reward, right? Like, even if a few regular zombies come after us, we're in trouble unless no, we find some so healing. Standard bolts, we don't need that. That direly. Uh, 556, that's what he's got on him. Load that in right now. Once this that's that's a help, that helps. Close that. Du -du 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 -du. More standard bolts. Be nice if we had a crossbow, but with us. 22s, 45s. We don't normally find those too often. Um, let's see what's in here. Prioritizing what we find. Soda can bomb. Uh, we can take that That's right now. We'll take take the 45s. We're almost there. Now we can see some more of this beautiful farmland. I mean, look at this. I love this. And then back over... Where's the mountain at? If you can see it. A lot of fog coming in right now. Yeah, there's the mountain. The medical rucksack uh, call will expire. Yeah, well, I don't know how much time we have to do that. Um, that's what we, we'll head back that direction. So once we get in the van, we'll drive down there. Ah, oh, there's like a horde right there, of course. All right, we're here. Let's mark. Just get in there. Gotta be careful because there's a dangerous enclave over there too. Right by where we're looking for meds. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Am I going the right way? I am not. Shoot a juggernaut. Oh, screamer, we left just in time. Shortcut through the farmland. And then we take the left here. Oh, don't crash, don't crash. It's the last thing we need. If ever I was going to be good at driving in this game, now is the time. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh. Wait, should we have gone through that little road too? Uh, uh, no, we keep going. We keep going. Prescott. Apparently, uh, Shark Wolf left a uh, comment on a video saying there's a Prescott, Massachusetts, which I did not know. I'm not going the right way. Oh, shoot. Oh! We made that zombie a part of that guardrail now. Look at this building. I've never seen anything like that. That is neat. A little, like, clock tower. Look at this part of town. Oh, I wish I could explore it right now, but we really can't. I'm letting you shoot, this guy's gonna now, shoot at me. So beat it. <laughs> Clint's like, I'm letting you live. I am not fighting these guys, are you kidding me? I don't care about this mission area. I'm getting out of here. I'm not even chancing this. How do we get out of here? I'm just driving out of here, guys. I'm not even risking. Look at this! Look at this mess here. They had some kind of fair parade or something. It's the uh, it's the Deer Fest. It's the, it's the uh, Bright Falls Deer Fest right there. Oh, that's really cool there, though. Oh, I want to search that, but we can't. We gotta go. Let's see if we can find meds over here then. We're gonna need to fuel this up too. Uh, we can't really take much more on here. I should just drive him home. Screw this thing, but we can find something to heal with now if it go a long way. Come on, come on, come on. Can't forget about that. The UK's on lockdown for three weeks, Jack? Oh, like the into oh my goodness. I mean that's smart I guess, but that is Do you have like enough supplies there, Jack? Are you all right? I'm one lucky fuck. Oh, we have a med rucksack. I'll drop this one. Got to drop something else first. Okay, heading home. Yeah, no room for that. I don't have room for these parts, so I'd rather take the med rucksack to be honest. I can't be too picky right now. We just gotta. I gotta find something to heal with. I don't care what it is. Come on, give me something. Please be something in here. I mean, I'm surprised my country hasn't gone on complete lockdown. There's another med rucksack. Oh. Like there's still businesses open here, not a lot, but there's still some. But it's like I don't. If I were shut down for three weeks without getting paid for my job, I mean that's. I don't know if I'd have the food here right now to do that. No sign of the rotten bastards. We're only allowed out once a day outside of getting food and going to work. Goodness me. Oh yes, painkillers. Right, let's drop. Let's drop this. That's use that. Last one. It's a little something. Yeah, it's true. That's right, Ripley. I didn't think about that. Yeah, breaking open that. Uh, oh, we have another one of these and this. We'll use this right now, too. Oh, wow. Clint's doing okay now. Meriday was like, yeah, this, do this, all right. Let me see if I have any more inventory place. space. I have a little bit. Maybe we can drop something else. Look at this, look at this cat penguin. Is it a cat? Is it a penguin? I don't know. It's a, it's a cat win. Open. Uh, oh, no oh, bandages. We'll take them. We'll take them. Ah, 
this area is so great. I really wish we had like the means to explore this, but I don't have any more inventory room. This is so neat. This park area. There's the fair down there. So where is this whole thing? It's right down here. This little area here. We're gonna have to take a trip out there one day and just see what it's see what it's really like. Penguin cat. We'll call it a penguin cat. There, I like that. Penguin cat. <laughs> Little penguin cat there. Looks like something I would draw, only not that well. Alright. So now we got to mark this. Who is this going on? This is. Talk to Bear about his concerns. Oh. Look at all these. Oh shoot, look at all these, um... Infestations there, we gotta go. There's like a little dock over there and everything, oh my gosh. This area is awesome. I hate that we have to leave this, but... We really just need to get Clint home now at this point. Goodbye, Penguin Cat. Oh no, Armored Ones. Can I go around this over here? Yes, I can. Whew. Hayden Cut. <laughs> Lawn dwarves, yeah, there are lawn dwarves, aren't there? Lawn gnomes, lawn dwarves. It's like these people like their lawn gnomes, I guess. Driving down the side of the side of this mountain. Oh my! I mean, look at these views here. I mean, this is so awesome. Can't get over this map. Be returning home now, finally. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on with that mission, I don't care. <laughs> oh, it feels, feels so good to see our home. It really does. Oh my gosh, we made it. And. We just ran out of fuel, more or less. Are they coming over here? Oh! Yo, I'm home. I'll worry about getting the stuff in. Let's drop this off inside. Safe and sound. They're coming! They're coming! Want somebody help me? Clint's been through enough right now. Come on. All allied mood shiners are good for trading when you can't build a still to get um Will they be able to get us fuel, you think? Kinda help kinda help solve our our fuel problem. Oh my gosh. There we go. Right, let's get our materials in real quick. <sighs> Fuel. That. Food. Ammo. That. 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 Put it all in there. My gosh, look at all this stuff we're depositing now. Fantastic. That is a big score there. Christmas for everybody there. Let's go heal him up from his infection. Fuel food and high value trade goods via radio call. Yeah, we can like find resource like this, yeah. To find like fuel rucksacks whenever we need to, but it's a problem going out to get them. 
I used to do that a lot early in my playthrough, I think. I used to do this to find rucksacks and stuff. Until we became more self-sustaining. Um... There we go. Okay, now he needs the rest. So let's get Clint to rest. Oh, Clint. What a day, what a night for him. We'll use, sure, we'll use Umo right now, whatever. Probably not going to do too much more in this episode. Um, survivor activity, talk to Dylan. Who's, who's Dylan? Oh, that's something about helping them, uh, speak to Dwayne. Should we talk to Bear about his concerns? Take it easy. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna answer that yet. Free once per in-game day via Moonshiners as allies. Oh. See, that'll be a big help. So we definitely want to ally them. They're the ones over here. Yeah. So they're friendly. And then we have nearby survivors friendly. Uh, they are hostile. They are hostile. It for enclaves right now. We're gonna have to get rid of one of these hostile enclaves as well. Maybe both of them. Look at our rucksacks, I and mean, we're pretty good with all of them right now. Food, uh. Do meds there. And do some more meds with the food there. We still gotta upgrade all these farms, but for now, just gonna do this. What's up, Natalia? He's got some stuff on him too. Is this from the fearsome footage pack? This this hatchet? Oh, critical response pack. Okay, so we got it from. I was like, where do we get that one from? All right, let's look at the base. We did find another. We found another piece of clothing, didn't we? Yeah, biker vest. Juma just looks weird with <laughs> I like Juma in this outfit here. It suits him. We have two ninja hoodies now too. We can put them in the all black. Put them in that one. Okay, so let's go. So we need to upgrade this farm. I don't know if we can upgrade the infirmary anymore. We have plenty of beds now. We have fuel, food, power, and water outposts, which is nice. So that's pretty good. We are. Still losing materials per day, but again, we can craft those whenever we want. Fuel, we're still losing one per day. That's not too bad. We have a lot of fuel in there now. Ammo's good. Meds are really good right now. Plus three a day. Food's not bad. Food's plus 1.5 a day. So everything's looking pretty good there. Got a lot of stuff for inventory here in this episode. Clint is ready to pass out. We'll have to be Bethany or Natalia again soon, like I said, so we can kind of upgrade them. 
What did Natalia do? Survivor activity. Talk to Dylan. Like, who the frig is Dylan? Look at Bear contemplating life there. He's like looking up at the sky, wondering what's out there. <laughs> I can now confirm that the rumors of a safe zone outside of Spokane are 100% false. And don't even ask me about Missoula. I wasn't going to ask you about Missoula. Spokane, so that's a Washington, definitely. So we know that this for sure is in Washington. It looked like it. Benet's just sitting out here, writing on her leg, taking notes there. Are you alright, Benet? I don't think you're gonna get you're gonna see much written on your jeans there. <laughs> okay. Um, I still don't even know who the frig Dalen is. Dalen is secure this territory. That's wait. Where is this Dylan? I don't know. I don't see him anywhere. Is he like over there? Survivor activity. Talk to Dylan. Oh, he's down there. He's in the middle of an infestation. Dylan. Dylan is chilling over there. I guess we'll go see. Uh, let's get geared up. We're going to go take a look at this before we end this episode. Forty fours. Do we have any more forty fours? We do. Writing on your jeans is a sign of coronavirus. Yeah, she might have it. <laughs> yep. One of the telltale signs. The pencil, nonetheless, like. Here we go. Oh, it's two screamers ahead. See if I can hit one from here. Probably not, but. Oh, you guys, attention. Oh, I just missed him. Get a little closer here. Just moving around. Got him. Okay, there's one down. Another one over here. Two more over here. What is this like? Screamer, yo, screamer, screamer day. day at the S and B. Special discount for screamers. Missed it. Wait a minute, I got one? How'd I get that one? Missed that one. Did my arrow like bounce off the wall? If he's gonna go that way, I'll be fine. Yeah, he's heading over. Oh, yeah, now he's coming back this way. Got him. Okay. There we go. Secure this territory as remove plague hearts. Long term quest. Yeah, so that's like, like beating the game essentially, Dave. We do that, and then we do our legacy goals, and then there's the bed. <laughs> That's like beating the game. I'm going to remove some of the plague hearts for sure. Because it adds action and story to it, to our playthrough here. I like fighting them too. They're intense. They get harder as we go. But uh, as we said, we're not interested in beating the game, per se. Not now, anyways. Because we're going to head to back to one of the older maps, eventually. But, uh... We'll be on this map for a while, I'm sure. It's really good. We have... What is that? What is that place called? Home Hut. Furniture showroom. Home Hut. Too bad it's not a pizza hut. Go 
Let's see what Dylan needs. Actually, there might be some more screamers over here, which I can see there is. They're trying to help. They're trying to get in. Dylan, look out. I think I just broke the window with my arrow. There's no way I'm going to hit the screamer from here. Shoot, he wandered in. Oh, that's not good. Call for sniper support. Hey, can I get sniper cover at my location? And we're going to grab this too. Yolanda's going to help us. Ben benefit of beating the game is saving everyone in your community for future playthroughs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You want to start up another one. Get these screamers. Get these screamers. Come on. Got the screamers. Okay. Be a oh! Big problem for a bit. We can relax. This is a big problem. Now look at this. Ooh, three headshots in a row. Could do that again. This is great because uh, Yolanda's taking out so many of them right now. All right, there we go. All right, dude, you're good. The Deadbusters killed my friend. Dude, I'm not going after... No. No. No, I'm sorry, dude. You're on your own. Hey, thanks for nothing. Bye. Thanks for nothing. I just... Helped you save your life there. Okay. Hell yeah. My gosh. I'm not going to put his life in danger. To go kill these people. Oh. oh, med rucksack too? I'll take the food one. I'll probably break down the med one. Signing off now. You take care. You take care. Okay, who is that? Alright, we're heading back. Well, we saved his life, and now he's going to go take out another enclave. Look at this little like park here, too. So what state do you think they were in before? Like, the other, ta the other maps. I wonder what state that's supposed to be. I don't know if that's supposed to be Washington, too, or what? I don't know. That's probably a survey point, huh? I think we've already gone up there. See where the hostiles are, then turn it down. Oh, they would have shown me? Oh, I know we're like... Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're right there. They're like right across the street from us. Dang, we're gonna have to take them out, actually. Gosh. Got hostiles living right across the street from us. No friendly neighbors here. At least we're able to see where they are. Let's deposit the food. So we are good with food for now with everything for now. Feeling empowered again, that's good. Alright, we can still upgrade this as well. So we'll have to do some upgrading soon. Uh, Alright, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, it's been a little stressful. This is a good one, though. It, was, it certainly makes a good watch. 
Um, uh, next episode, we'll probably go after that enclave over there, I guess. Wherever they are. They're over, oh, they're back. We can't yeah, they're over that way somewhere. So we're going to be very careful. We're going to take two people over there probably to shoot them. Um, and then maybe infestations. I don't know. We'll see. Um, thank you everybody for being here on the stream. Thank you for watching on YouTube as well. The love has been... <laughs> I'm still blown away by all this the support on this series. I can't even believe what's going on with this. But it's been an absolute blast. Uh, Jack, Dave, Ripley, thank you so much for being here in the stream. Uh, take care, everybody. Stay safe. Um, I'll be streaming more today. Uh, I don't know about this game in particular, but probably some other stuff. So, take care, everybody. See you in the next part. Till next time. Zero is a number.